Yeah. Hey, I am mixing the interior die to match the interior pieces on this little C10. Uh, so, you know, I told you they didn't put a radio in this truck or speakers or anything like that. So we're going in and we're putting a radio in it. And uh, I'll show you in a minute here. This is our custom mix formula. My Valspar De Beer rep was in uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, he brought his little handy Danny camera. We got the interior matched up. Got this, the sheen, shine, all that uh, spot on. So what we're doing today is we took, we got our speaker grills <clears throat> that we're putting in the kick panels. So we're gonna dye them to match so they're not black. Just step above. And then we got our new instrument bezel here. And we got it all sanded down, plastic prepped, ready for plastic primer. Um, and we can put our stereo in here now. We'll be running the retro sounds. Uh, come in here and I'll show you. I'll give you an example. Let me shake this while I'm going. That way I got that tip. I'm tint it just a little bit. So, <coughs> this is the dash off the original build. This is originally supposed to be black. And they matched up the color. They painted all this brown to match. And it really flows in nice. We like it. We're going to stick with it. So we come in and this is our test sample that we've tweaked off of. We matched it. So this is the original instrument cluster. They smoothed it off. You can't buy them like that. They actually done this. I'll show you. See, they glued pieces in. And then they smoothed it off. I guess that was cheaper than actually putting a stereo in it because we got probably 1200, 1500 just in stereo equipment that we're putting in this truck. So we got a retro sounds, Bluetooth, hands free calling, stereo we're putting in it. Uh, we got us, watch out, we don't want to spill that. We got us a uh, 300 watt, 10 inch subwoofer. We're going to mount it back here on the back of the cab, make some brackets for it, get it put in. Uh, these are the actual speakers that we'll be putting in the kick panels. So this is the kick panel, and you can see how they've wrapped over the top of it, but you can see how they that they took and they uh, they cut the original one down, they put a little loo on back here, glued to it. And somebody, somebody down the road, prior to the, to the build here, they had had a, Six and a half or five and a quarter, I think that's what it is. Five and a quarter. Yeah, five and a quarter put in this, and they already got the hole in the metal kick panel, too. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna reopen this hole and I'm gonna set that speaker right inside there. And that's why we're paint matching the, the uh, grill to it. So that speaker will sit right in there. So now we'll have bumps. So. But yeah, we got we also got some six by nine we put in the back. We're running all Fosgate on this. What's not Fosgate is retro sounds. It's a really good comparison all together. So that's what we got going on today. We're gonna get the uh I'm gonna get that stuff dyed this morning and let it dry. And while that's drying, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna start wiring in on the whole radio system. So hopefully by I don't know, tomorrow, noon tomorrow, it depends on how big a hurry that I get. We'll have some bumps in this thing, but you can take a look at it. I don't show a lot of my wiring because that's what I do is a lot of wiring. Uh, guys come from me, come to me from all over to help with their wiring. So I really don't show a lot of the wiring that we do, but I'll show you where we're at right now. Um, I mean, I think I showed you the last time here, we had, we had just all kinds of, of uh, list everywhere to do through this dash and we pretty much got it narrowed down to not much on this side we got to wire our courtesy lights in um, and then we got a subwoofer to pull in here which like i said that's what i'm going to do ashtray to put in and uh, 
come over here, walk over here on that side. We almost got all this buttoned up, but we got just a little bit more to do. But we went ahead and we're running uh, RTX Dakotas. So we ended up, we're putting a bin box in and this is the this is the brain box for it. So we got this fitting up here in real nice. These are our relays for our steering column with our identity steering column, which I gotta, I gotta do some termination and a little bit of lumen on this stuff yet for my steering column. But we're gonna try to get that in today. And uh, our power brake booster, our steering column, and try to get all of our uh, radio and our instrument cluster put in today that we can get our dash pad put on along with the windshield put in it. So that's where we're at on it. That's what we got going on today. Um, we haven't got a lot of footage at this point on it through the wiring phase, but like I said, uh, there's no need to show all the wiring. Uh, there's just a lot to it, and it's either one of them things that you understand it or you don't understand it. And what I found out, most people don't understand it. So here we go. Let's get this stuff primed. Let's get it painted, and uh, let's see if we can get done here. We got the merch store open. DeboltAutoBody.com. Check us out at DeboltAutoBody.com. We got sock caps, ball caps, Richardson style hats. We got long sleeve, short sleeve, long sleeve, short sleeve, and two different designs. We got a gas monkey look going on here. Uh, check us out, DeboltAutoBody.com. Get your merch on today. We got our DeBeer, high solid surfacer, the sealer surfacer that we run, and we put a 2K elastic in it, which gives us our plastic adhesion. That's what we got mixed up here. And we're gonna be running the, uh, we're gonna be running a 3M primer gun, base coat gun. It's the PPS 2.0. It's a really, really nice gun for doing uh, little things like this where you don't have to get your big expensive guns out and uh, get them all dirty. You can leave them clean for little projects like this. So, got the parts prepped, they're ready to go. We're going to get them in the sealer. And then we got our dye mixed up already right here. Uh, we got her tinted in really well. It's a really good match. So uh, we got it ready to go. So we're gonna, I'm gonna primer that and then we're gonna leave it sit for roughly 30 minutes. It's like 110 degrees today. Humidity's high. So we wanna make sure that it gasses off really well without getting past the window of too many solvents coming out of it where we lose our chemical connection. So. Because the dash is all cut out, 
crap. I'll probably put a dozen of these retro sounds in these little square body pickups in the last year. I'm gonna say at least a dozen. And every one of them has been like this, so. Um, just hacked up, so we're gonna fix it up. Get this retro fit in there, retro sound, retro fit in the C10. What we got here, what we got here is a whole box full of instrument clusters that we've collected over the years. We're gonna pick one out. We need to buy housing is what I need. Uh, and I'll show you why. Because <clears throat> this, this was the cluster that was in it. And let me move that camera back up. So this was the cluster that was in it from the original build. It's classic instruments. And if you look real close, they've hacked this thing up like there's no tomorrow to get it to work. So anyway, we can't use it. Tabs broke, mounting tab broke, mounting tab broke. I don't even know. So, jump, you want it, come get it. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna pick me one out that I like, that fits this, they all fit different. The bezels actually fit different, these do. Some fit better than others. Ooh, that one is pretty. I think I'm gonna start with this one. Dissect it. Things all butchered up. Set up our electrical. Set the whole rear end. 
go ahead and wire in the air ride permanently. Run all the sensors permanently. And then I'm gonna get all this wired up here in the motor department. Get it finale wired permanently. So we have left blinker, right blinker, we have backup light, and we have park lights. So we will address these in a later situation because we really don't give a crap about lights right now, we we'll give a crap about everything else. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go in here and I'll cap these off right quick. And that way, whenever I get close to hooking the battery up, here in a few short hours, we won't have to worry about them sparking out.